Cat. It's Maximus here. This is going to be kind of a, a basic, quick review of some of these Milwaukee Diamond Plus hole saws and then the special half inch arbor for the larger hole saws. And you just go arbor lists on the smaller ones. One thing I was noticing is on these smaller ones, uh, first, there is no interleaving with the grid, it's just a continuous ring. We'll get that open. And if we look down here, uh, made in UK and packaged in Taiwan. It doesn't make any sense because they're literally saying that they're manufacturing these bits in the United Kingdom and then shipping them over to Taiwan just to put, put in the plastic packaging. I can't believe that's actually uh, cheap enough to do that. And then these larger ones are actually made in Taiwan and then packaged in the United States. So they're shipping these from Taiwan uh, to the U.S. just to get them packaged. So Milwaukee is doing some weird things these days. And then, of course, the uh, arbor says made in China and Taiwan. So, and judging by this, I don't know if it was packaged in Taiwan or if it's a Taiwanese arbor. Anyway, let's get these things open. I was going to do a demonstration. I dropped the tile I was going to use these on. Man, that is some hard plastic. Wow, Milwaukee, you really didn't want that. That thing was bogging down. So, the weird thing about all these bits is that they're all about the same price. Besides their variable packaging um, and country manufacture, they all uh, seem to get pretty good reviews online. I was a little lost for words. It's a bit late. It's... Uh, I probably shouldn't try to do videos every day, but I like doing it. It gives me a nice goal, and, and uh, let me get this cleaned up. Oh, yes, the other thing I was saying is for some reason, just due to the way that Milwaukee has decided the overhead on manufacturing these, is they're all around 20 to 30 bucks. It doesn't matter. This tiny little half-inch one is going to set you back 20 to $25. This one-and-a-quarter-inch one is going to set you back... 30 or so bucks. Sometimes you can get as cheap as 25. I also think it's interesting that they just don't do any type of centering on the small ones. And so you just have to slowly start. I broke my tile, but then I realized, you know, drilling a hole with a diamond grit hole saw is not particularly entertaining because you're, it's not very fast. There's not big chips. It's just a powder and then eventually it comes through. Even though these can be run dry, you really do want to have you know, some water that you're periodically dripping if you can, because that will prevent uh, the diamond from getting too hot and the bonding from breaking down. And it also helps to clear the swarf. See, the big issue with diamond saws and any of these grit saws, but particularly the diamond ones, is they use very fine grit. And so it clogs up very quickly. So the water helps unclog it. These are just quarter inch hex shank because they assume that you need to run these pretty fast. So you'd run these in a drill. And you'd run this thing pretty fast. You could get away with uh, easily 2,000 RPM on a little half inch or like this if you had enough cooling. And that's the really the big deal is if you're drilling through, you know, projects like wine bottles or tile or anything like that, you know, you periodically pull it out and just make sure it's not getting too hot. You can also see that there's a little uh, stop there. So these aren't really made for going super deep, although you can. On the larger hole saws, one thing I was going to mention is they use a very thin wall. It's a very thin kerf so that the diamond does clear uh, a pretty wide area. Otherwise, it's just a standard half-inch two-pin, so you could use a two-pin. But on the larger ones, they do have a pilot. And it's actually, they sell it in a kit like uh, with the arbor and the pilot drill. But really, it's just a quarter-inch shank spring-loaded carbide tip tile drill. And so when you press on, what you're supposed to do with this is on the larger hole saws, you're supposed to drill just a small little divot, a starter hole, and then you put this on the arbor. And I think it's uh, kind of interesting that they don't use like their larger two, two pin uh, arbors with these, but it is nice that it is, it's relatively standard. So you can pull out this spring loaded uh, pilot drill and then you can put it in a different arbor that may suit your preference a little better. But I think one of the reasons that they did put it in this versus the two pin uh, is just because it offers more stability. The hole saw, in this case, you really want it to keep pretty straight. You don't want it to wobble back and forth because then that'll cause a bunch of friction. 
And one thing that's an issue, and I've seen on rotary hammer bits, I couldn't get fine one, um, but where you are drilling through, or you use the bit quite often, you don't clean it out much. It's on a loose arbor, so it's growling back and forth. Since you're drilling through things like glass, tile, very hard and abrasive materials, and these are rated for grade 5, which would be known as hard tile, you'll actually wear the sidewall of the hole saw itself. Just the grit running around, you brushing against the edge of the hole will actually just wear the steel down to the whole front of the saw falls apart. I've seen rotary hammer bits where they're just straight and then they get all neck down because people are just drilling deep holes. They don't want to pull the bit out. And that concrete grit actually is grinding down the shank of the bit itself. So anyway, that was just a little talk about these. Uh, the Milwaukee's get some very good reviews and we can, I can see why. is because they actually put a fair amount of diamond grit uh, on the edge of those teeth. So they, there's quite a bit of material that will last quite a bit of time. A lot of the cheaper diamond grit hole saws are like silver and they just have a really thin coating of diamond. Where on these you just have a really nice thick meaty and long lasting layer of diamond that should get through a reasonable number of holes. And I can see exactly why they get so popular or why they get so many good reviews. I can also see that it's interesting that this pilot point uh, is flush. Most woodworking or other hole saws, the, the pilot drill bit would extend well past the edge of the hole saw. But in this case, they're trying to keep it close because you're going through hard materials. And the last thing to mention on these larger ones is they say once if you are going deep, then once you get the hole started, you actually want to pull this mandrel out so you're not actually drilling, simultaneously drilling a hole through the center of the tile while working, uh, cutting a hole out around the edge. They say once you get it, you know, well started, pull out uh, at least the pilot drill or put this on a different mandrel so you can drive it without the pilot point and it'll be steadied in the groove that it's already made and make your life a lot easier because these things are slow going. One of the biggest issues is, you know, it's diamond grit. So it's not removing very big chips and it takes a long time. But it's not too bad, you know, a little bit like this with, you know, a good water, a little water spray bottle outside. Uh, you could drill through, you know, a wine bottle to make a mobile or something like that. Uh, probably in just a minute or two. So anyway, uh, that was kind of my review, lame review, because I didn't demonstrate these, but they are pricey. Come on now. But I have some projects that I'm going to use these on, some idea project ideas, and so I'll certainly uh, revisit and just really see their performance then. Uh, anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.